Can you do an install of FreeBSD where you install software and a desktop from the parts tree instead of the package manager? I did, and it took me 17 and a half hours to do it. Right, we're going to begin the install. Uh, we're using a virtual box session on this one, not real hardware. Although technically there's no difference if I set the virtual box to two core and give it four gigabytes of RAM, then that's the same as the test machine anyway. It's going to take a long time to do this and I'm going to choose Fluxbox as the window manager. Oh, but before we install that, we just need to run Portsnap to fetch the latest uh, parts tree. Because this is the first time that we've run Portsnap on this new install, uh, we're just going to use Extract. It's going to run through and extract them all. I'm running fast forward on all of this, otherwise it, the complete uh, install would take 17 and a half hours. And while that might be an entertainingly long video to actually uh, upload, I don't even know if uh, YouTube would uh, tolerate that. So if you want to find out where XORG is, just put where is, and that gives you the uh, the location of it. It's going to change directory into uh, into this. I normally, if the times when I actually need to uh, not make install clean to set the process going, and we'll just leave it running. Normally, when I I tend to install things via packages. A, it's it's quicker, and if I do need to talk, if I and if I do need to change some options in, in a particular application, I'll just reinstall via ports that particular application. So, for instance, um, FFmpeg. If I want to enable Lame, which is not included by default, I'll just I'll just redo that rather than everything as I'm doing here. And doing that, I normally just use Portmaster. Um, but for this, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Now, the process does take a long time. Even this video is roughly... Uh, will be about half an hour long. Maybe a little bit more. So... Rather than having me ramble on all the time, I think the best thing to do would be uh, I'm going to play some music, various tracks. You can skip forward to the individual sections if you want. Then I'm doing installing Xorg, um, and then installing Fluxbox, then installing Firefox. You know, this is not a tutorial on how to do it. We're not going to uh, go through many options. If you want to slow things down, you can, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't bother. But this is just really an exercise to show you that, yes, it is possible to install via ports. Uh, and maybe that's something that I would have done when I was uh, younger or starting, uh, you know, an earlier phase of uh, installing FreeBSD, you know, just for the sake of seeing what I can do. But, you know, packages now are at a point where you just install it by package and tailor each individual application if you need to. So I'll uh, I'll come back later after this music.
YouTube forward slash RoboLoop. Right, that's Exorg done. Now on to install Fluxbox. Again, I was in Exorg, and we're going to find out where Fluxbox is. And there we go, we're just going to change it into that directory. The reason why I've chosen, uh, chosen Fluxbox is just simply because it's, uh, you know, the, this entire process is long enough as it is. Um, could have chosen XFCE, could have chosen, oh, I don't know, any any of them, Openbox maybe. You know, Openbox is quite like. But Fluxbox it is. But imagine if you'd have tried and install KDE as well. Good grief. You're talking about like good solid two days of compiling. So yeah, we're just the usual thing. We'll just go through the routine. Uh, although, from what I remember, Fluxbox doesn't take too long to actually install. But we'll leave it running. Speak to you again at the end. Well, that was quick. Okay, not too bad. One thing I like about Fluxbox, it doesn't take too long to actually install. Right, we just need to make a small alteration so we can start Fluxbox up. We're going to edit the uh, Xinit RC. I put Xec Fluxbox. So when we use Start Text, uh, it will start Fluxbox. Again, you could uh, put a uh, login manager as well, but I'm not on this occasion. And there's Fluxbox, nice and uh, bare. You do get the bare minimums. Nothing fantastic, there's a lot of uh, console based utilities and X clock. Always got to have X clock on. And there, yeah. It's all uh, it's all very nice. It's all nice and simple. I like Fluxbox. I've used Fluxbox for uh, a long time, on and off. Although it does seem to have stalled recently, so uh, I don't know. So we're going to go through the different themes, choose one. Uh, oh, try that again. Some of the themes are a little bit messed up. Um, I don't know what's with that. I like that one. Green, oh my eyes. Uh, nah, 
Oh, we should have stuck with the original now. Yeah. Yeah, I'll choose that one. That's fine. So, really, for anything uh, useful, we need to install some uh, other applications. I'll just look at the about. There we go, in case you want to see it. Clang 8.0.1. Right. Like I was saying, to actually get things done, we need to install some applications. So, the one that we're going to use is um, Firefox. Firefox will take a while. So, again, the usual routine. We'll start the actual process off and come back at the end. Finished. There we go. Right. Before we start using Firefox, you're going to have to enable uh, Dbus. So just come to the rc.com, go down to there, and just put in Dbus underscore enable equal yes. So we can start the service. Press Escape to save. And we'll just start the service now while we're still in route, which is service dbus start. I love FreeBSD it is uh, in its system. Very nice. Exit, normal user, start X. Back into a flux box. Of course, it's not popular at the menu, so you... Um, yeah, you're going to have to go into a terminal and start it up. You can edit the menu later. And just put Firefox. And there we go. Let's have a look at the version if you need. Should be the latest at the time of uh, making this video. Yeah, 80.0.1. So there you go. It took a long time to get to this. And... Uh, it's not something that I would recommend you do unless you've got, you know, plenty of time to spare. If you want to open, uh, oh, sorry, what, one or two glitches going on. That's not the install; it's the uh, the video for some reason. You've got, um, if you want an up and going system, uh, installing from ports uh, is not the way to do it. Well, it is if you've got the time, but if you want it up and going pretty quick, then no. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.